Uh, Yoshi forward air is actually kind of really annoying for Kirby. He doesn't have the range to really punish it, and Kirby wants to stay grounded. And forward air is like a really good option for fighting against people who are on the ground. But anyway, I can talk at length, but I will not because sure. instead we have this matchup in front of us. Now, I believe that overall Suarez definitely has experience in this matchup. Uh, for one, back when Mr. E used to be out on Long Island, the two of them would play a lot. So this is not unfamiliar to him, but it seems like perhaps the John Mark's own Lucina is unfamiliar because oh, in the slide off. Yeah, it's a matchup that so many know from the previous Smash 4 game ago. But we know, um, you know, Lucina wins this matchup overall with that long disjoint, like we were talking about earlier. But this is Suarez we're talking about. He's been around for a minute. He knows exactly what he's gonna be doing. And Lucina can get punished just like anybody else. We are all mortal when we get hit by Yoshi up to Yeah, you gotta watch out when he comes swinging for that fair. And now he's kind of baiting him with the egg. There you go. And he knows that the John Mark kind of wants to swing on him, but he's just baiting him with that egg shield. And that was really great awareness from Suarez. A lot of lesser Yoshis, after shielding that dash attack, might go for a neutral or just like that. My yeah. fastest option. I did it. Ooh. Oh, speaking of these things. conversions. Yeah. Uh, but he knows he wants what will actually kill. He maximizes his punishes. That's one of the things that sets him apart from the other Yoshis. Yeah. Eggley, surprisingly lagless. Yeah, and uh, John kind of going for that Hail Mary S smash. He's kind of eating a lot of damage from that situation. He is going to be setting up a tech chase situation, but you know, it's Yoshi. He can jump right on out of that. And now he's kind of struggling for this kill. He is popping out of shield with that Nair, putting Suarez in the corner, just hovering for that back air kill finally. And Suarez looking to quickly answer back with the egg leg. We have him just dropping with the forward air. And the thing is that egg is, it's something that Yoshi wants to do anyway, because even if it's not, even if your opponent doesn't neutral get up into it, it forces the get up time. You know, when that egg comes at them, they basically have to pick, do I get up now and neutral get up? Do I roll? Do I jump? And so it's something that he wants to, you know, it's looking for regardless. Anyway, speaking of something that Yoshi is looking for, uh, low percent up airs. Yes. Every, I feel like every single stock, Suarez has gotten like at, at least an F tilt to get big damage right out of the gate. You are taking, oh. Yeah, especially when he traps you in that egg as well. He's, you know, he feels free to kind of break dance on you with Nair, tries to trap your landing with the egg. But right now, the John Mark is kind of looking to get back into this game and kind of trap Suarez. But Suarez is coming with the boots with the fur out of the shield. And now you are trapping this recovery here as Lucina. The eggs, like you said, are threatening that kind of get up option. But the John Mark choosing right on this course RPS situation. He's still getting trapped in the egg, and Suarez missing the S-Match in that situation, unfortunately, but you won't be missing that there on that platform. I think every single upbeat that Gia John Mark went for was punished, or was just properly baited. I don't think Suarez got hit by it a single time. He knows exactly where the gaps in his own offense are, when his combos are not going to true combo. And the fact that that move comes out so quickly, it's annoying for characters that want to combo like Yoshi. But the thing is, that also means that your opponent wants to click that button. Exactly. And he's just fading back the exact right time. And it's an option that maybe, like maybe G. John Mark has to shelve it for a bit. Yeah, I mean, the up B out of shield, you know, it's a, it's invincible on startup, it's frame three, it's a really good combo breaker tool, but when your opponent starts baiting it, you definitely have to keep it in the back arsenal, watch it for later right now. Ooh, and uh, I'm kind of really liking this battle twist as well, because Lucina can get a lot of good up air strengths, a lot of combos, and trap Yoshi on the platform. And this is where she kind of excels as well, trapping at the ledge with Suarez, you know, always comes swinging from that ledge as we're seeing with the fairs. The it catches the overextending, there you go. That was so good. That's going to shield poke, and that's going to lead to an up air. But he air dodges just in time. Yeah, and we're back to the ledge in this situation over here. But Suarez coming out with a lot of really good egg lays, kind of punishing um, the Don Mark and sleeping at the ledge well, here. One of the things is that egg lay is one of Yoshi's only disjoints. He doesn't have a hair box on his tongue. So it's actually a decent way to contest with uh, some sword characters. Yeah, and now Suarez kind of trapping this recovery. There you go. There's that up here, like we were talking about earlier. The John Mark has to watch out for those, or he's gonna pay big time for them. Yeah, and right now, considering he's such a high percent, one of those being whipped right here will mean his death for sure. <gasps> oh, that was, he thought he was just a little bit closer. That up tilt would have definitely connected him to an up air. Yeah, and hanging oh, for that kill. That beautiful tech. 
to John Mark staying in this buddy on trying to get a little too uh, ballsy with that shield breaker. I can respect it, but definitely not the right hits in that situation. Uh, honestly, I would say that was more Suarez properly baiting it. You saw he held shield, he showed it. And Yoshi holding a shield in front of you, it's mighty tempting. You know, you can't shield poke him, so why not shield break him? But oh, oh you're dead. my god, catching you him are dead. and trapping him with the egg, dragging what him all oh. the way to the depths of the blast zone. This man is our Amsa in the flesh, our blue Yoshi. And he's coming out swinging from the shield, looking to get these low oh. percent combos too. At what point does it stop being a game and start being bullying? <laughs> Well, it's certainly um, getting bully time right now, but okay, there you go. There's your response back. The up out of shield for getting a little too uh, crazy with that forward air on shield, not space. But Suarez, you know, back on the defensive and the aggression, kind of oh. finding his way in with the eggs. And John just catching all these rolls from Suarez, trying to trap his landing, but Suarez does find his way to the ground. However, he is at the ledge here, and this is prime time of Cena time. What? He just went to the middle. I, I, maybe he was reading like a roll on. Fun fact, Yoshi's not really going to roll on because his ledge roll has, it sucks. It's actually like surprisingly bad uh, frame data for it. I guess so, you'll never expect that. The whole thing is like, Yoshi doesn't like to go for ledge roll for that reason. He almost always goes for like ledge jump or neutral get up. Oh, but hold on a second. We were considering this to be a down and out game, but Dijon Mark has paths to victory right now. It just requires him playing masterfully. Let's see if he can actually commit to that. Yeah, Suarez missing these techs. The John Mark kind of has slowed it down a bit to where you know he can take full control of this. And now he is trying to control these trappings. There you go. You got the double up airs getting Ooh. in that damage and trying to trap Suarez landings. But you have to be careful where you're always swinging. But with a beautifully placed F smash, he's going to be pushing Suarez off the ledge. And Suarez no is struggling to land now. This is actually... This is so bad for Suarez. What was this? this was the three stock to one game just a second ago. Yep, and he is trapped. He's on this with the down smash covering the He's play. He's alive! Like Yoshi hanging on. John Mark is still swinging around. Oh, no way you're dead. That was such a good down B, but they're going back and forth. 162% on Suarez. He actually makes it back down to the ground. Looking for something that back here will absolutely kill if it lands, but Dijon Mark respecting it beautifully. What was no! that? Oh! Oh! Was he trying to double jump, maybe command so he was, Yeah, he was trying to get the command grab. Uh, he thought he was a little bit higher than he was, and after that, he did not get the directional air dodge. He might have been too low for directional air dodge to matter at all, but I it was a, it was a flub. That's, it was a bit of an unforced That's so error. unfortunate for Suarez. Error, rather, but. but very fortunate for the John Mark because he's put on a game three on the board here. Yeah, not only that, but... Do you remember what happened to him in the first two minutes of that game? He was getting bullied. He was getting he was absolutely getting stuck. And then he's like, "I right, let me let me slow it down. Let me let me collect my manner here." He did exactly what Lucina needs to do in the matchup. Mm -hmm. Like it felt like there was no, there was an explosive play. It's not like he responded immediately back with some crazy zero to death, spiking him down at zero. It was just, I am going to play the way that I need to. I am going to hit you. Every time you try to push a button within this range of me, I'm going to put you in the corner. I'm going to tack on damage and damage and damage, and then I'm going to forward smash you and you are going to die at 90. And this is the, my plan. This is what's going to happen to you for the rest of the game. Exactly. You cannot let this reptile breathe any life here. And I see you're also rocking a Yoshi shirt. Are you, are you in support of this Suarez man over here? I'm a Yoshi player, man. I'm, I, I try not to express you're my Yoshi. biases. I thought you were a Luigi player. How dare you? Uh, uh, all right, all right. Uh, listen, I understand. <laughs> They're both green, little green men, but um, uh, I, I, you did you did properly scout that I play a, a degenerate character. Though, okay, so. well, I, I got that. They're both green. They're both degenerate. <laughs> but you know, and they both lose to Lucina. <laughs> just to let you know, Suarez did just switch his controller with the one that was in his bag. Oh, oh. interesting. I that could just be a John, but also maybe there was something there. I, it's I, you never know, honestly, you never know. Yeah, well, button check. Listen, if you're not confident at all, no reason not to. Also, even if it's not, it's a little bit like icing the kicker. Like, yeah, take a second, you get to breathe, and you maybe will take away some of that momentum that Dijon Mark had because yeah. now he can't just. Uh, move right from game one with all of that fury into game three. Of course, you got the time in between sets. You, you know, think it over, cool off, 
get that water there, right yeah. there. I, I will say, if we go into this next game and Suarez loses with the new controller, not a great look. Controller John, controller John. Controller nah, nah. John. Listen, it's one, <laughs> if he comes in here and he, 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 he cleans up, then we can say, all right, game one, game two rather unfortunate, he probably had some control. We'll see, and we're going back to PS2, the stage that Suarez first won on, of course. This is one of his favorite stages as Yoshi, this makes sense. Of course, and we have, you know, the John Mark already taking the percent lead this time around. Gets the forward there to answer, and there you go. A very smart up B. I imagine this time around he's going to be using those up very wisely. Okay, okay, okay. Well, here's the thing. Suarez is just a little bit shook. If games one and two, he was beating it out perfectly. He knew exactly where his combo trees would end, and he would need to look for a reset. And now he's just a little bit too eager. He's like, I just want to hit you. I just want to hit you with this next follow-up. And as a result, now he's getting punished by that up -beat. Exactly, he got that brain power going, that blood flowing right now. And you see, the John Mark is in such a very good position to be punishing all these nares, but Suarez is throwing him out, just trying to push the aggression, trying to push the agenda forward. And he is, though, pushing it to ledge here, but the John Mark is a beautiful oh, that's roll. Big. Oh, God. Not gonna kill, though. Oh, that's okay, Fox. Not gonna all kill, right. just too stale. Yeah, we're trapping with the egg lays here, trying to get the stock with the forward air. But the John Mark kind of controlling the center right now, getting in that episode to kind of push him from coming back forward, trying to beat any options out of shield. Oh, but it's not quite enough. There have been so many close calls, so many times where it was just, oh, Ooh. where are you? No invincibility. All right. I love the challenge on the counter, but Suarez was so ready with that forward air to just punish the re -grab. Well, the thing is that the counter was just a little bit too low. If it had connected, he would have been knocked back too far to get some type of a follow-up. Uh, he did save his jump. Really great right there, and this could be actually some pretty solid damage. No, but it is still a ledge trap. Yeah, and the jaw mark is coming out of this ledge trap situation just fine over here with that 38. And he's looking to take it off the dancing blade. Unfortunately, Suarez dropping that shield and just trying to come and swing with the nair, the John. Still pushing things at the ledge here, just trying to trap Yoshi. Yeah, the one thing that I really like from Dijon is the stutter movement. Oh, okay, nice. But like he runs and then stops, and then runs and then maybe yes. walks a little bit. And that really can mess with where Yoshi wants to uh, end up sort of choosing where he puts his hitboxes. Oh. oh my god, I love the dash dab command grab. The John Mark was yeah. definitely not expecting that, and uh, trying to call him out with the up smash, Suarez just yeah, that, quickly answering that. So because Yoshi's shield can't get shield poke, he was clearly looking for Yoshi to drop shield. Thought he had an idea of when he, when uh, Suarez, what the timings were, uh, but just don't, he, he had the patience, stayed with it, and he's going to be cleaning up that stock, but this is, well, hold on a second. That was also three stocks to one. Exactly, I was about what to say. What happened in game two? Game two, you know, this was the same situation. Yeah, he had similar. the one stock, Suarez had the three, and the John Mark slowed it down and quickly kind of slowed down, came back, and now we're seeing this again. He's pushing the double F toe at the ledge, trying to trap this landing, but Suarez getting that command grab and the shield, looking Ooh. to trap this landing, and now to John Mark is looking at the face of Yoshi down smash. Oh. No, oh. Okay, you, can just go off, you can just go off for the extra. I all right, all right. Also, he was recovering low way too much. And Suarez finally recognized that, and that low, 